Hi Gears fans and welcome back to GO series videos! Today we show you a breakdown on the latest trailer released by Splash Damage for Gear Statics. Let's get started right away! The video opens with the corpse of a cog soldier with an armor identical to the gears who fought during the Pendulum Wars and the Locust War. The game takes place two years after E-Day, 12 years before meeting Marcus Phoenix in the first Gears of War. The history of tactics is chronologically set one year after the Judgment events. The scene opens with Gabriel, Gabe Diaz, Kate's father, and Sid Redburn, already introduced into the lore through a Gears 5 collectible. In the document, we discover that he revealed to Chairman Monroe what Nile Samsung was doing at New Hope. Here we see a group of civilians who survived the city attack. Most likely these people over the years will become part of the Stranded that we met in the original trilogy. Here we have a close-up of Gabe, where we can see, just like in the 2018 teaser, his white tuft. He still looks like a young man, probably enlisted during the last years of the Pendulum Wars. We also remind you that in these years of conflict, his brother Oscar has also joined the army. It would be nice to see him during the game. Now we see the planet Sarah hit by the attacks of the Emerald of Dawn. This happened one year after E-Day, when Chairman Prescott was forced to institute the Fortification Act in order to use the Emmer of Dawn against Locust. Did he entrust this new secret mission to Gabe and Sid? In this scene, we see Gabe and Sid walking in what appears to be the remains of the city after the Emmer attack. As in the last year's teaser trailer, we see an armadillo arriving with the gears on board. This will be most likely the vehicle that protagonists will use to move from one stage to another. Which Locust Horde will be without the wretches? In tactics, much of the bestiary of the original trilogy will return. Even if they don't appear in the video, we can see from the cover box that the tickers will also be present. In this scene, we meet the main villain of tactics, Ukon. Queen Mira's scientist is killing a soldier, while the city behind him is burst into flames. Those of you that also follow books and comics will surely notice that you have already seen Ukon in the comic saga The Rise of Ram, in which the monster asks Ram and Scorch to bring him humans for his experiments. Beside having tamed the creatures of the Hollow with his technology, in fact, he has started experiments to enhance the Locust, to allow them to defeat the Lamban that infests the Serra subsoil. Ukon summons a creature, probably of his own creation, that he wants to use to annihilate the protagonists and the city. In this scene we can see the three protagonists of the game. In addition to Gabe and Sid, there is a woman named Michaela Dorn who should join them to hunt Ukon. She is not a coalition soldier, but a survivor with a common goal. The game customization system will allow us to dress her with a cog armor. As we all know, the bosses of the main series will return with the same role in tactics. The Bromach is one of them. We are curious to know how we can bring it down with the new turn-based game system. Here we have an overview of the city on fire. It seems the same location where we saw Ukon killing the soldier. However, the sky is still clear, which means that it's chronologically prior to the meeting with Locust, so the soldiers will make it across the bridge. Thanks for the spoiler! A group of drones are slaughtering the soldiers who guard over the bridge, while Gabe is targeting them with the long shot. The three soldiers, all with their main outfits, head to the battleground area. The view then rises upwards, making the icons of the characters appear and giving life to the real gameplay. The game HUD has changed compared to the alpha. Above we can see the target, while below there is the challenge to be able to overcome the area. 
In this case, the three protagonists do not have to die. The selected character is Sid, and this gave us the possibility to discover that he is a level 1 vanguard. Below you can see the available weapons. In the center there are the active skills. And on the right the possibility to end the turn. At the top right we notice the presence of the Tacon, which can be activated with the space button. In this sequence the camera position is set like in the main games. Seed automatically uses the Retro Lancer to damage enemies hidden behind the covers. Although the sequence looks the same, Seed is at level 10 here and has a lot more skills than before. The turn of the enemies begins, who open fire towards the protagonist. Michaela, hidden by the cover, is partially hit. Now it's up to her to respond to the fire. She wields her long shot and automatically performs a fantastic headshot. In this sequence we can see that Michaela is a level 1 sniper. Here you can see the boss fight battleground against the Bromach. The proportions are the same as in the main game. The presence of the Terran guards is confirmed. More clips from the battle against the Bromach, in which you can see a secondary character while he's damaging the creature with a mulcher. Gabe, Sid, Michaela and the fourth woman reach what appears to be one of the Ukkon Slayers. In front of the protagonist there is a creature similar to a river. In the next scene Ukkon threatens to have them attacked by his new creature. This one resembles the Hydras of Scourge and Ram. Was it he himself who created them by strengthening the most common river? The video reveals that the campaign will last more than 40 hours. This is perfectly in line with the genre of the game, which requires a more reasoned strategy than that of the TPS. In this sequence you can see a new type of locust. It would seem a drone boosted with emulsion. We exclude that he's a lambent, since the monster clearly has tubes coming out of its arm, in addition to a luminous mouth very similar to that of the armored Cantus and the Tempest of Mira. His armor is very similar to that of Srak, seen in the multiplayer of Gears 4. Gabriel and Sid run near the Hammer Strikes, recalling the scene of Gears 5 in which the Delta do the same at Settlement 2. A smart and visually splendid way to show the similarities between the past and the present, repeating its same mistakes. Here we can see two classic executions also returning to tactics. The video shows us a sequence of customization for Seed. The first of them is the armor from Onyx Guard, the second seems to be a mix composed by pieces of COG armor and pieces of UIR armor, the third one is the classic armor of the COG soldiers and the last one is the basic armor of the character, but without the elements for the arms. Now let's move on to the Lancer. Already in the first sequence it's possible to see heavy changes to the aesthetics of the weapon. There is a stock and a modified magazine. The viewfinder and a muzzle of fire with a Gatling magazine applied are also modified below. In the next scene we are shown various combinations of armor that change in real time on the protagonists. So each player can customize armor and weapons as they prefer. 
Who knows if the same flexibility will also be included in the main titles one day. During this in-game sequence we can see that Gabe is a level 3 support. We also have 12 prisoners to save, with the obligation of not using any scout. At the top center the target appears to be positioned on a pod, where we later discover that there is an imprisoned soldier. After other game sequences, Seed extracts a soldier alive from the pod. He has an armor very similar to that worn by Baird and Cole in Gears of War Judgment. The presence of spikes inside the pod makes us think that it's some kind of torture thought for the enemy of the Locust. They will probably be picked up and taken to Ukon to undergo genetic experiments. Here we see a corpser emerging from a huge chasm, evoked by Ukkon to kill the protagonists. The creature's attack ends the video. Gears Tactics will be released on Windows 10, Xbox Game Pass and Steam on April 28, 2020, a temporal exclusive for PC. By pre-ordering the game or redeeming it on the store, we will get a trash ball called Skin. We hope you enjoyed the breakdown. My name is Critch93, this is Go Series Videos. Thanks for watching.